Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Steph and today I wanted to do um, a haul of all the things that I bought at iMeds this year. So I did go to iMeds this year. I only went Saturday. They do have it Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But I only went Saturday because the ticket was $60. And I did go with a friend and I honestly think that I bought more than what I did last year because last year I didn't know much about makeup. This year I knew a little bit more so I bought a little few more things that I always wanted to get and they were having pretty good discounts but I feel like some of the brands that were having good discounts last year were not having good discounts this year and the brands that were having good discounts last year, no bad discounts last year they were having good discounts this year so let's go ahead and jump into the so first of all I did go to the makeup forever booth they were having I believe it was like a 20% off sale and give you a pro member like if, if you have like a pro card then you got like a extra 10% off so it was like 30 for them but because I don't have that I only got 20% off which was fine and if you couldn't get if you couldn't find whatever you wanted in the booth then they will give they would order it online in that moment for you with the discount and then they will ship it to your house but I only decided to get one thing they did give me this tote bag um, of makeup forever and what I actually got was the stick uh, the makeup forever ultra HD stick foundation I have always wanted to try this and use it because I have heard so many good things about it and I think it came out like around $37 and it's usually like 40 something dollars I believe. So I used it today and I really liked it. It was full coverage but it's also not like cakey. So I really like this foundation. Next book that I went to was Sugar Pill which they gave me a bag like this. I really like their bag. I wanted to buy their colorful shadows but I mean they were $8 each one so I don't know I was just like thinking about it and at the end I, I only bought two things I'm like oh well I'll come back and buy something else later but I never did I never came back so first I bought this sparkling it was in the shade royal blue it's this like just like blue pigment with sparkles in it really really pretty I feel like if I use some kind of like base underneath it it will be so pretty so i decided to buy that and i also bought the new pumpkin spice seasonal liquid lip color which i really wanted it since it came out um but i never bought it um online because i knew i was going to imas and they were gonna be there so this is how it looks so this is pumpkin spice latte it's really really pretty I liked it. It's metallic. It's like a mess, but I didn't go to Kat Von D's booth last year because it was such a long line. This time was shorter. So we decided to go and see what they had. And then they were they told us they were having like a 20% off and they were giving some freebies. So we we're like, okay, let's go. Um so this is the bag that they give you once you purchase something. Like this tote bag and the things that I got. I got the Shade and Light Shade and Light Eye Contour Quad in the color Rust. So it's just a small one with the four shades. As you can see in here, there are all the shades. They're so pigmented as soon as I touched it. It was just like everything in there. It's a tattoo liner and in um, Trooper. Just the black liner that everybody knows about it and talks about it and and I really really like it. I really like this type of liner. It's the ink liner in shade Bukowski. Bukowski. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's this dark deep green. Which I was really excited to try out. Just this one right here. It's a deep with lipstick in double there. This is Dusty Rose Pink right here. I love her like lipsticks. 
And I did get uh, some freebies. So I get like a mini Tattoo Trooper liner. Which I didn't see until like I bought it. So I know that I probably wouldn't have bought the big one. Then I got a Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Exorcist. And a mini, also a mini liquid lipstick, ever like everlasting liquid lipstick and in the shade Santa Sangre, which is a really dark, I mean, it's a really bright blue red. It was Cookie Professionals and they were having, um, they were having, I think it was like four, no, five and get one free and each one was like four dollars or something like that so i did get some liners uh just like pencil liners i got five and they want free i kept for myself this blue light like a light blue and then this um dark green because i really like using green on my eyes one is forest green and one's royal blue first actually booth that i went to was um, House of Lashes and they were giving out to everyone who purchased something in this tote bag which is really cute and uh, the first 150 people were getting a the second day at least I guess each day they were having something they were giving out the first 150 people so I told my friend like we have to go to that one first because that one's the first the only one that was giving out something for the first we went to House of Lashes first and we got this um portable charger which is in the shape of a unicorn really really cute this is house lashes right here it came actually in this box um but i opened it and yeah it was really cool because i had to get three pairs of um one kind and then three pairs of another kind um so i got the temp temptress wispies which and then i also decided to get Boudoir Very pretty lashes. I, I'll try them one of these days um, I went to those little colors and uh, last year I remember they were like um, $15 each it was only $3 off and this year they had it for $13 which was $5 off and They were not charging tax um, like last year they did and they also gave us a free gift which was really cool so um, and some of the other stuff they were cheaper too than last year but I just decided to get four liquid lipsticks because that's what I wanted I kind of wanted to get the highlighter too but then I was thinking like oh I already have a lot of highlighters and I probably shouldn't so I just decided to hold on that either way like if it's permanent then I'll see you next time I also saw the shade um, of the liquid lipstick black rose the one that's limited edition this one right here but i did not get it just because um it looks like the ones that i already have so i was just like i, I don't wear that much that many color dark colors so i was just like i'm just gonna skip on that but i did get these four colors so this Which first one it's called cold shoulder Ro rose bud campfire and brick so I did get, I believe these are new colors and I was so excited to get them. And the free gift that they gave us, sorry, the free gave, gift that they gave us was this, those of colors, a power, powerful pink lip duo. This is a lip duo that they came up with for the breast cancer thing. Uh, they had like a cell and it was, in the, it was like a liquid lipstick and a lip gloss. Um, there are these two light pink ones. Namies and Namies had like so many things on their booth. Um, like many brands. And I did get, uh, they had, um, they had, I think it was like 20 to 30% off everything. Um, no, I think it was 30 to 40% off. I forgot already, but they had really good deals and Smashbox was there. So they had their new palettes and I decided to get this one, which is the colorful one. But I decided to get this one just because I want to try more colorful stuff and they seem really pigmented. And the other ones, honestly, look at, looking at them on person did not call my attention at all, but this one did. So that's why I decided to try out that one. I went to um, 
flutter lashes which is also also a nameless and i got two lashes i went to the lion crime booth which was a nameless too and i got the venus 2 palette which i've been wanting to get but i've been like holding myself to buy it because i thought i didn't like it um but when i saw it in person i really really like all these colors so i decided to get it and it was pretty good price i think it was like all the ones that i got from the bomb so this one is charming sincere committed dotting dedicated and loyal so these are all the colors that I got from um, the bomb. I really like their color sticks. They're really, really good. And they're, um, you don't feel like you have anything on. And when I try their liner, like just like I, I like they have the tester, I really thought it was really good and really black. So I decided to get it. It's this one right here actually on the top. It looks really black. So, next store I went to was Inglot, and from Inglot, I just got two gel pot lights. So, I got this really yellow, like egg, egg yolk yellow. It's actually sealed, so you can't really see it. But green yeah. also. So, I bought a green one and a yellow one. Then, I did went to Beautyly, Beautylish, which they were having Jeffree Star's products. I think they were only selling Jeffree Star's products that I saw. They're giving you like a paper with swatches of different skin tones so you can see, but they also have testers. And I did get their his two, his two new um, liquid lipsticks, the metal ones that he came up with, which is Notino Shade and pussy whipped I'm not a big fan of the name of that one of the last one but um, I like the shade a lot I, when I was sending my friend like I want this one she read the name she started out laughing she was like what the heck is that name like what is that why are you gonna tell people when they ask you what color are you wearing I'm like, I don't know, I, I'm gonna feel I'm comfortable because I just are the two new shades that he got, Notino Shade and this is Pussy Whipped. Um, I really like these colors. One is like a rose gold. This one's like uh, a rose gold metallic and this one it's like a purple metallic. And yeah, so they're $15, so they're $3 off, which is okay. It's pretty good. Um, at least you get something. Oh, and here's my other sample of Kat Von D Santa Sangre, the one that I got for free. I did go to Friends Food, and I bought some single shadows, some for my mom that she wanted some colors. And then I only bought these two, which look really pigmented and really colorful, like I want them to. They're really, really cheap. They were like only $2 each. So they were just like a really good price. Um, Laura was L'Oreal was there and they were giving they were not selling anything but they were giving out two of these infallible um, paints. So they were giving out uh, this shade purple and they were giving out a red which I already gave away because I don't like so red. They go to the lid booth because I wanted to get some glitters and I wanted to get some vase for the glitters and I did get they were having what specials they were having they were having three for thirty or each one twelve dollars and the um this um the vase was fifteen the big one so I did get four colors because my friend got two and I got her third one so I got these or it's um green red like a pinkish purplish in a duochrome purple which i thought it was really really cool but then when i got home i remember i already have a purple one um it's okay i like using purple so i got that on lit i went to was pure cosmetics and they had the royalty uh, five piece eyeshadow polish collection that was made with an angel merino mcdaddy 
um, it was their collab. They also had the other collab um, with the other YouTuber, which I forgot her name because I don't really follow her. Uh, it was a lipstick. It was like a lip set. So it was lipsticks and lip glosses, like five, I think, of them. But I just already had so many lipsticks and so many glo lip glosses that I was like, I'll skip it. Um, but I did get this one and I was not planning to get this one. I just wanted to check out the Trolls one. The Trolls eyeshadow palette, but they did not have it with them. Uh, cause I guess it's not launched yet. But when I saw this, I was like, oh, it looks really cool. And they started talking about it and I was like, let's see what it is. And, um, it's these five shadows. And what they explained to me was that they were liquid shadows. So... What you do, it's you put it on, it comes with this little um, thing to apply it with, and then you just put it on your lid. It's very metallic, and they told me that uh, you need to let it dry, and after it's dried, you can um, just um, blend it with any brush, and it will just transform in powder so I was like oh that sounds really cool and she tried it on my hand and it works really good so I was like okay I'll take it and it was cheap I, don't, I forgot I forgot how much it was but I think it was like 20 or something like that it wasn't expensive so I was like okay I'll take it I'll see how it is and then they also had like a spin the wheel and I won this which is a um I guess it's a contour palette which has a mirror and it has some highlighter shades, some blushes and some bronzers which I thought was pretty cool because um, this probably is around, who knows how much is this but um, I got it for free so I was like yay so I was really happy with that and my, um, actually this is my third stop but I'm showing it last, it was Murphy brushes which I'm gonna show you how actually this the eyeshadow the the wet shadow works. So I'm sorry if the lightning is horrible. It's just because um, the sun is leaving and coming back and leaving. So you see how it's able to be blended. It doesn't like just stay there. So you can blend it out. So she said you can blend it out with uh, a brush or something. So that was really cool. I also wanted to buy some it Itsy Itse um, makeup shadows, but honestly, when I went there and like touched them, did not they did not feel as good quality as I would hope to, um, and they they were pretty pricey. So I was just like, you know, I'll just keep it and um, get other stuff. I did spend a lot of money. I bought like a lot of things, but I feel like at the end, it's like worth it if you're really into makeup and you're really want to do this like you know um like try different looks and try different things um yeah but this is everything that i got at imats this year i'm going to fame expo this year on june so i'm gonna see which one is better and which one is um not that good so in that way like next year i'll buy for one or the other one tickets so yeah thank you so much for watching and i hope you guys like this video and i'll see you next time Bye.